Kevin, and welcome to Back Issues of Sound. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. Well, with this configuration, we got to do a Star Wars book. <laughs> Yay. It's Star Wars Yay, time, and I, I was so prepared to do a different book, <laughs> and I got about literally four out of five issues in, and I went, nah. Ooh. Wow. And then I picked up a book that I think will be more meaningful and exciting for you guys. It's Shadows of the Empire 2. I did not know this existed. Two? No, it's actually called Shadows of the Empire Evolution, and there's no reason for that title. <laughs> is it, it's a sequel? It is a straight up sequel written by Steve Perry, not from what? Journey. Oh, okay. Easter eggs will find you. <laughs> Pastel colors will remind you. Jesus is right behind you. No, this the is terrible. <laughs> No, Steve Perry wrote the novel and created Shadows of the Empire. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is a legit... Oh, it is straight up canon. At least I, in the Legends universe. I kind of right. feel like Shadows of the Empire had a nice... <laughs> it said everything you needed to say. Period, like punctuation mark right at the end of it. It was just, and I'm done. Yes. Because I will now transition into Return of the Jedi. Right. So right. there really it isn't any right there. room. There is room because it takes place after Return of the Jedi. Okay, so was this building on the original plan, or was this just no. like, well, people really like that book, so let's just make it a comic. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, this is a cash grab. That's because there is no book. There's no comic book. There, so right. is the rest of it. Everything past the book is also a cash grab. Yeah. No, like, no Shadows of the Empire itself is a cash grab, <laughs> because they didn't make the novel and then decide they were going to make other things. The novel was part of a coordinated effort to make action figures, video games, soundtracks, etc. Yeah. yeah, it was like a multimedia. The like, book was movies. part of it. This is also drawn by Ron Randall. The <laughs> cover, I love it because uh, for a second I'm like, oh, so Gillian Anderson is uh, <laughs> playing this character here. Is it but Guri? It is Guri. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is. She's the one I was like, oh, I know who that is. Yes, it's a direct sequel to Shadows of the Empire, in as much as it follows up on what was left over from Shadows of the Empire, but Shadows of the Empire famously takes place between Empire and Jedi, where Shadows of the Empire Evolution takes place immediately after Jedi. Right, so it's like a spiritual successor. Yes, which is why they call it Shadows of the Empire Evolution right. over Shadows of the Empire 2, which I remember this coming out and being confused by <laughs> because I, just, I went nuts on the title where I'm like, evolution? Because you'd see pictures of Shizor and I'm like, is he a clone? You right. know, like, are they growing Shizors? <laughs> Does the like new empire think that they can like make Shizors? Why and would then they use do that? I don't know, but it was just like, I, I, all I saw was just random art that referred to Shadows of the Empire Evolution and I'm like, I want none of it. Oh, yeah. But it turns out it's just a sequel. So it's like, oh, that's a lot more palatable. And I thought, since you guys know Shadows of the Empire pretty well, because it's so... <laughs> I, I have to warn you, I haven't read Shadows of the Empire in 20 years. That's fair. So yeah. I actually don't remember but very much. But we talked about the comic book seven We did, years and I don't even remember that we did that. <laughs> I remember talking about it. I don't remember the content of it. All you need to know. I know this Black Sun. Black Sun is the criminal, criminal organization. organization. Yeah, no, I, uh, I run by Prince Shizor. Yeah, yeah, who's like who hates Vader. Yes, yeah. and, and, and wants to like get him by getting his son. Yes, and so Vader is in like a pursuit of trying to get Luke, but also in like a battle of wits slash chessboard political movements. Yep. Because the Emperor favors Shizor as well. So I, it's I think like, that it's like the Emperor is using he, he, Shizor. He's enjoying it. He's just yeah. loving it. He's like, look at this. Like, look at whatever. You Everyone's he's just working playing for them me. against each yeah, other. This is yeah. a fight for me. And that dovetails into Return of the Jedi. And so Return of the Jedi happens, and now it's this. Yeah, we get all the explanation about where they get their costume. Yes, yeah, we find yeah. out. Like, we get Boosh. Yeah, Boosh. Yeah. Although the only thing that really bothers me is that Chewie's hair grows back. Because in Shadows of the Empire, he gets like the buzz cut. Yes, and he, he does. Gets, like a specific. Um, Wookie. Wookie. Other Bounty Wookie, that's Hunter. right, yeah. But maybe like, maybe Wookiees are famous for their... Hair growth? Hair yeah. growth? I mean, I would assume their entire bodies are covered with it. <laughs> so, this opens with this dope spaceship. And by dope, I mean it's a spaceship. And it is piloted by Guri. And I, I, I want to bury the lead, but like, who cares? But Guri, <laughs> the lifelike android, who was a servant and assassin for Shizor and Black Sun is now on the run from a Star Destroyer from the now recently defeated Empire. Okay. Sure. 
The Imperial she, Remnant, as they, <laughs> as they called it. Ah, thank you. Yeah. And she launches a pile of fo photon torpedoes at the Star Destroyer and blow it to smithereens. What? A ship smaller than an X-Wing blows up a Star Destroyer. You don't spend years as an enforcer for the galaxy's largest criminal organization without learning a few <laughs> tricks. Hmm. That's all we need. I think that ship is OP. It... <laughs> it is, and yet it never does anything more OP in the book. Maybe oh, okay. maybe this Star Destroyer was built like a shadow, or a Colossus from Shadow of Colossus. It had yeah, a it's weak mm. point. It had a special she blue glowing spot, spot yeah. and yeah. she found it. Yeah. Maybe Doc. we just wanted to draw something exploding so it was yeah. super badass and cool and it hooks us in immediately. So I'm like, whoa, who's this? And Why are things exploding? That's exactly how the book opens. And so if you're not dazzled by the explosions, how about some bubes? <laughs> Well, she was designed to be that. Well, she was designed by to be her creation. She, she at no point is like, I'm a sex robot. No. She's like, I'm an assassin droid who bangs my owners, <laughs> but never says that. But like, but that definitely happens. Definitely happened. Meanwhile, on Coruscant, so it's like, oh, okay. Coruscant was the heart of the empire and now is the capital of the new republic. And yet, Criminal organizations are operating freely and in open air under the sun on the surface of Coruscant and not like in that evil shadowy place on right. Coruscant where, where Darth Sidious and Dooku meet. <laughs> you know, the part that's obviously evil? Right. You know, that yeah. area? The evil part, yeah. The evil part well, of Coruscant? We got rid of that part. Yeah, they closed it. <laughs> yeah, we don't need the evil part We don't anymore. need that anymore. Exactly. And that's why uh, Azul's <laughs> Antiques is here in the heart. It could be right next to Dexter Jexter's Diner. And uh, Azul is a one-eyed Faleen who looks suspiciously like Shizor. And mm. if you want to think it's Shizor, well, I mean, I guess I wouldn't blame you because he's missing an eye. And I mean, you know, he did explode in a skyhook. So, I mean, he might have lost an eye you know, most and all of his bones. When, when, when someone explodes in uh, a skyhook. Yeah, yeah, that, that you'd tends think they'd to be the end of them, than right? You think yeah. that would be the end of him? Maybe he was in an escape pod and he just maybe he just held his breath. Him. Maybe. What maybe. kind of damage would you get from an ex being inside an exploding space station that would harm you at all and not kill you? Uh, yeah, none. <laughs> Like, either you're caught in the explosion, you die, or you escape before oh. it, and you should not have lost an maybe eye. Maybe he used right. his pheromones to, to convince the ship yes. to not hurt him as oh, it was maybe. exploding. Yeah. So Azul, as he is known here on Coruscant, uh -huh. is uh, met by a Rodan who's got a name and I don't care. <laughs> and he's like, hey, so I understand you're looking for information. We're going to meet a new character. And that is the bounty hunter Kar Yang. And Kar Yang could be just a big, crazy-looking bounty hunter. Again, like Vader's quest, gotta go bird-themed. <laughs> Yay. Why? He's like a vulture. Yeah, uh, and that's thematically relevant to his, his, his oh. pros profession, right? He's also kind of like a Skeksy. He is just straight up a He's Skeksy. He's like, all right, I look like this. I could be a garbage man <laughs> yes. or a bounty hunter. Right. And you know what? The bounty hunter thing is cool here. Mm. as opposed to embarrassing on Earth. <laughs> so... <laughs> hey, he's also sort of animal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So Kar Yang meets up with Azul, and he's like, hey, you're the Faleen guy known as Azul. I assume he's actually squawking all of this, and we're just <laughs> getting a universal translation. Of, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the squawks to come. They're, I'm sure they're on their way. Yeah. He's, he's also like, circling. Yeah. That's what he's happens. Like, right before you get taken by him as a bounty hunter, he just circles sitting there, you. He goes like, around you, yeah. You know it's coming. Could you please just sit down? You're making me nervous. <laughs> Kar Yang agrees to take the bounty of Azul, which is to go retrieve her. We have to assume, and we do, <laughs> that the her they're referring to is Guri, or the nameless buxom blonde <laughs> we saw from the intro of this, of this book, right. which it is. And so Kar Yang is on the case. Oh shit. And of course, you need to go, it, it, it's, it, we are spared of it in the trade, but if you get the individual issues at the back, they explained who everybody is. Oh. Like, Azul is a Faleen who has a mysterious secret. <laughs> and Kar Yang is the second most dangerous bounty hunter in the galaxy. No. Only second to Boba Fett. 
So you need to take Car Yang seriously because oh, he's, he's immediately so above every other bounty hunter you've ever heard of. I he's just met beaten him. Furlag. He's beaten Zuckus, Forlom, Boss, IG88. 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 Yep. Yep. Wow. All beaten by Car Yang. A bounty hunter we've never heard of before. And we'll never see after the story. So we see a little flashback. It's not hot enough. Let's see the origin or the birthing of Guri. Uh, she wasn't born, created, built in a lab, and then put into a back to tank for some reason. Maybe to grow her skin. I'm giving the book more credit than it's due. And we see that she was trained. Why is she trained? They say she's trained. Trained. Train. Like, I guess that's the most important thing. And it was so rigorous and, and, and stressful and traumatic. Why is but she lifting weights? She's a robot. Exactly. <laughs> Why is she being trained? You just upload the programming. I mean, even Neo didn't have to do any training. He just knows Kung Fu. So we see that this is her origin. And then she was, she was sold like a piece of meat, but a very expensive piece of meat. To who? Shizor, obviously. Right. Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, Shizor. Uh, that's right. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And I was confused. And she was made to kill people and do horrible things for Shizor. And then she met this plucky, intrepid group of people led by a guy named Luke Skywalker. She is a she's a robot, right? She so, is a droid. So she's a droid. So yeah, I guess she's but a, a humanoid droid. She's got like a personality. She got a personality. Yeah, okay. she has sentience like all droids, yeah. which is so problematic. <laughs> uh, but she also can't get this image of Luke Skywalker out of her head. She's and like, mm. in the comic <laughs> book. There is no relationship whatsoever. And in no. the novel, Luke faces Guri and then lets her live. Uh huh. He's like, I'm not going to destroy you like all of my kind would to a droid. Right. I will instead allow you to leave because you're hot. Farewell, Guri. Sure, maybe he's like, you know what? 3PO would be okay with this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you were like programmed. You didn't like it's not your fault. get to choose. Yes to be a bad guy. Right, but Does that lives- Does that 3PO is programmed to be a coward? Yeah, I think so, yeah, no. Yeah, well, probably. we know this because there are stories in the Droids comic book series where 3PO has been reprogrammed and he becomes a freaking freedom fighter. Oh, right, yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that happened. Think about that. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll do droids on the couch. No, I sincerely okay, no, doubt it. Let's not do that. So we see that Guri escaped from the destruction of the Skyhook by taking a effing Ewok hang glider. What? And when, what? I, when I say Ewok hang glider, I mean a hang glider, but the only time I've ever seen one in Star Wars <laughs> is Ewok on Endor <laughs> with Ewoks. And it looks like it's made from sticks and leather. So, I don't know, maybe well, they had, had a, it She had to fashion it quickly. Yes, out of the skins of her enemies. <laughs> and so, she flew away. I'm like, on what? It's space. Were they in there's space? No wind. Were they over? I mean, they were. Coruscant. I think it was really high. It was. High. But it, I think there's still atmosphere where I they were. I can't remember if there Which, was it. To it, me, I'm like, she's are definitely died because right, that's where you are. He would have crashed into the planet. Fallen. Yeah. Like gravity. Maybe he had one of these things. Oh, no, that must have been. He would have had to hold his breath until he <laughs> burned up on reentry. So, anyway, so he's in hot pursuit and he's got a droid with him. Of course. And this droid is. Here. So then, <laughs> it looks like no other droid in it the Star Wars like universe. They all look like that in this book. So this nameless uh, buxom blonde named Gori, who clearly is Gori from <laughs> Shadows of the Empire, she goes to Herd's Moon, and uh, she is looking for somebody. And she has to check mm. her weapons, but she doesn't have any, so it's okay because she's a weapon. So Kar Yang arrives at the destroyed remains of the Star Destroyer that Gori had dispatched not two pages ago. Sure. Yeah. He's like, oh man, this is one. This is one like <laughs> elusive prey. And uh, at, at one Thank point, you. I actually thought that this was actually the remains of the Skyhook. Oh. And then he was like, he was, he was like checking where she was last seen. Right. Yeah. But no, but he's, those would have crashed to the surface. Uh, or, or not. See, I don't remember it being that close to the surface. It was in orbit, I think, yeah. and that yeah. means it would have eventually fallen. That's true. So, so oh, what? He found traces of where she went. I guess he, he got a hot tip about where she had From been. The Exactly. So then we see Guri's trip as she goes through one seedy alley to another seedy bar. She mm. runs into a couple of bad guys and just immediately destroys them using the skills that she no longer wants because she's like, what am I? What, what fate is man? Oh. <laughs> and so so she kills these guys and then goes into this crazy bar that looks exactly like the cantina, but, you know, not as exciting. And she's looking for a guy named Masad Thrumble. And all the oh, names sound like this. And I don't think they are worth remembering or uh, acknowledging. <laughs> right. But she's looking for Masad Thrumble, and Masad Thrumble's talking to another beautiful woman. And uh, I guess the, this is the Nudian Sung. 
of Star Wars. It's a dude who, he's the original builder of Guri, and I have to assume, based on the beautiful woman that is with him at the bar, this is yet another beautiful robot droid, and uh, this guy just builds sexy women droids. And that's like, what he does. He's like, not usually for sure. killing, but for some reason that's what the special request. That's right, that's right. right. Now, well, I'll was, make them for whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. But I they are like, going to be hot. It's going to be two reasons. It's either <laughs> sex or killing. You're not going to use her for, like, I guess you could use her for diplomacy, but why? When I have a protocol droid, people are used to that. Right. It's That's, more comfortable. That is the face of diplomacy yes. over there, not you. Yes, a surprise goldfish. Well, to, <laughs> so, to be you, an assassin, it has to look like a person. If I make it look like a person, I might as well pull double duty. That's true. Yeah. I need your help. I have a ton of money because, of course, I was the trusted droid to the leader of Black Sun, so I have access to all these credits. And he's like, I don't need credits. I'm so old and so experienced. Nothing is more important to me than than the new challenges. You mean to say the Empire didn't seize all those credits? Right. And just add them to the pile no. of, of well, like credits that Vader has? Yeah, Vader definitely added that to his account. Maybe they so seized he like as much as they could get, but some of it was too well hidden. Yes. You oh. know, in, in various assets and shell corporations. And, oh, yes. And, and Very whatnot. technical. Yeah. I can imagine that maybe Guri herself is one walking savings account. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's from Gold Press Latinum. Oh, wait, wrong, <laughs> wrong universe. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Thromble <laughs> proceeds to reveal that, like, I used to work for the Empire and I made droids like this one that looks nebulously like a kind of droid we never really see in Star Wars unless it's in a Jawa trading barge. Right, for like but a second. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I made some great stuff and then I made you. And you broke the mold, baby. You were amazing. A perfect construct. And she's like, listen, there's no one else in the galaxy who's skilled enough to reprogram me. I don't want to be an assassin anymore. Hmm. I'm freed from my masters, and now I want to rid myself of the memories of having killed hundreds of people and having sex with Shizor countless times. <laughs> that part is kind of glossed over, but like the murder though. And I'm like, if you, okay. So that just raises like further questions. Like if you are capable of not being owned, even though you were programmed to be owned by Shizor, and you're capable of recognizing you don't want to be an assassin anymore, yeah. then you don't need them remove you don't need to be deprogrammed at all because you already have sentience. Right. Like but you already have chosen to not be an assassin. Exactly! Like the right. fact that you are going on a pilgrimage that is determined by you means that you no longer have programming. Right. But but is it that she is it that she wants the memories removed so she doesn't have to think about it? It varies from or page to page. Or she just says, "I want to be reprogrammed." She says, "You're the only person in the galaxy who can reprogram me. Uh, I don't want these memories anymore." So it's both. Is it like semicolon? I don't want these memories anymore. No, it's more like new speech bubble, new sentence. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, like, why don't you just take those files and drag them into the recycling bin? Exactly. Yeah. And then just empty like, them. Why don't you self-delete if you right. have sentience and you can actually do this for yourself? If you have a ship, you're flying by yourself. Yeah, just get another android to like go and do, like maybe you can't like physically do it, she but can't. just have someone else do no, it. No, she knows that only Mr. Thrumble can do it. Why would anyone buy a droid that they can't <laughs> change the memories of? Yeah. They do that all the time in Star Wars. That's true. Yeah, we wipe three PO's memories every other trilogy. Yeah. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But basically, he's like, I need you. And he's like, well, this is about to turn into an episode of The Mandalorian. Oh. Because if you've got a problem, I've got a solution, but it requires a side quest. <laughs> and so. He's like, I can't do it without my special droid, which coincidentally was robbed. And that's oh. Doc. I call him Doc for short, for no reason. His numerical designation does not include the letters D-O-C. <laughs> oh. Well, if he has to perform some sort of surgery, I guess. And that's why. Also, he's state of the art. They call him state of the art, top of the line. He looks like a crappier astromech droid. He looks like if you made an astromech droid into a vacuum cleaner. He looks like the robot from Rocky IV. He looks <laughs> like hot robotic garbage, and he's top of the line. Now maybe he's so top of the line that we've, that we've removed all bells and whistles. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, she's, got, she's got it on the inside. Yeah, yeah. That's what counts. Exactly, like a white T-1300 <laughs> freighter. What a hunk of junk. <laughs> yeah, well. Should make 0.5 past light speed in surgery, whatever. So, Doc was kidnapped or 
robo-napped <laughs> by... Droid napped. Yes, by the Pike sisters, who are twins, but oh, not the gosh. twin sisters from the bar in A New Hope. Oh. Different bounty hunter twins or assassin or mercena Marks. mercenary. Yeah. They're mercenary sister twins <laughs> who were called the Pike sisters, uh, but are you, now you called... You just say twins. It's redundant to say sister twins. That's true. <laughs> These 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 twins were called the Pike Twins because that was their name, but are now called the Pickle Sisters because they changed their name. And I bring this up only because it, it comes up three times <laughs> in this story where they go, I think that's the Pike Sisters or the Pickle Sisters. I heard they changed their name. And I'm like, Perry, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what? And he's what, like, this what is, is world this? building. Yeah, but nobody cares about this world. And or the Pike Pickle Sisters. Yeah, who are never gonna we're never gonna see them again. No, we're not. What are they, the Sticky Finger Bandits? <laughs> yeah, we gotta change our name because now we're the Wet Bandits. <laughs> we were the Wet Bandits, now we're the Sticky Finger Bandits. Yeah. Everyone's gotta have some kind of thing. Everybody's got a gimmick now. Uh, I don't know which one of these things is gonna hit, but one of these things is gonna hit. Doc the Droid, Massad Thrumble, <laughs> the Pickle Sisters. The hey, pick one. Birdman. Car yeah. Oh, Yang. Car Yang. Car Yang. You're welcome. I like Car Yang. So the former Pike sisters, now Pickle sisters, have stolen Doc the droid from Mossad Thrumble, and they're bringing the Doc droid to Spidna Kavil. Oh. And I'm like, blow me! <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> no more. Like, why? No more fucking fake names. Why? This is worse than Prepadinko and <laughs> Nala Mala. Uh. So... Guri's like, what we right. do in Shadows of the Empire. We introduce you to all these new characters you ever heard of. No, you don't. <laughs> no, she's or Guri, and that's it. And Dash Rendar. And Dash Rendar, and those are all okay sounding names. Yeah, plus I also got all the characters I knew. I haven't seen them yet. Where is friggin' <laughs> Han Solo? Star Wars? Where Where's is Leia? Where's so, anyone? Yeah, right? No, because I think at some point, like halfway through the book, somebody went, you need to put Luke Skywalker in this. No one is buying your gory backdoor <laughs> pilot. So but Guri, she's the seven of nine of Look Star at how Wars. hot she that is. That is exactly who she is. She is the seven of nine of Star Wars. But what's weird We've is- We've gotta get Guri working. It's not like- <laughs> it's not like, <laughs> She's not on, in the panel. You need to be wondering what where she's doing Guri? and where she is. That's right. So Guri takes the case and she's gonna go recover Doc <sighs> from Spidna Kabil for Mossad Thrumble. And so then Masad Thrumble and Doc will then perform the surgery necessary. Yeah, but Car Yang's surgery. after her. Uh, that's right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the second best man in the other <laughs> She's in trouble. How is she going to get away? What is she going to do? What is she going to yeah, do? Yeah, but she blew up a Star Destroyer with oh, her she, ship. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, but she did dump, like, all of her photon torpedoes. Yeah, that's true. Does she have any left? Yeah, no. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't come up. <laughs> so immediately the Pickle Sisters bring... Doc, the AO1 droid, the AO1C droid to uh, Spidna Kavil. Looks uh, like they take him take to the shop in Guardians of the Galaxy where the uh, <laughs> Infinity Stone is yes. attempted to be sold. Yeah, but that wasn't, it's well before that, that movie yeah, came out. True. So Spidna Kavil has big plans for Doc the droid. The plan is Kavil needs Doc because I guess this droid is just so infamous among the galaxy. It's top of the line. It's top of the line. This is the, it, this does intricate work. It does reprogramming that you can't even reprogram. And <laughs> what he wants, Kavil that is, he wants the AO1C droid, Doc, to reprogram a bunch of random droids he has into becoming assassin droids. Is reprogramming droids apparently the hardest thing uh, in the galaxy? Uh, I, I wouldn't have Very thought hard so until to do, I read apparently. this. Yeah. Okay. Uh... But doesn't an assassin droid need to, like, be designed physically to yes. be an assassin droid? Are you going to take Gonk and make him a fucking assassin you droid? You could. Like, I, I, I wouldn't think you could just reprogram a droid and right. it would just automatically be good at assassination. Well, I mean, why not, though? What if it doesn't have, like, arms But these and do. Shit? No, oh, these, okay. these are bipedal, you know, humanoid. Are their servos designed to move really quickly or just at, like, the normal speed... That I would mean, be necessary for what they were designed for. Maybe what you're doing is you're banking on the fact that some of them look innocuous, and so like they oh, can get close to their target yes. and then destroy them, That's and then probably self-destruct. Yeah, I would love it That's if it was just point. a whole fleet of three uh, PO units. 
Right, and they're just, just like, like and then they're they like, kill hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god. It's just, it's just a mouse droid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or a gong droid would be pretty effective because it's just, yeah. it's adorable. It comes up to you. It has yeah. no other things. It just walks up, just gong, you're like, <laughs> there he comes. And then he explodes. I was just saying, there's a little flap opens up and a knife and comes it, out and stabs yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a man in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Boba Frick comes up. <laughs> And actually, he is the second most deadly bounty hunter That's right. in the galaxy. Yeah, you didn't know this, but Babu Frick is actually, now that, <laughs> since Boba was taken off the table, the most deadly bounty hunter in the galaxy. So Guri's on her way, and she, because she's very good at her job, which is... Everyone's really good at their job. Well, them. at least the second best at their job. <laughs> Guri, she knows immediately where Kavil is and what planet he's on, so mm. she goes there, but it is protected by robot ships. Those are ships that are piloted by robots or oh, ships that are robots. Droid ships. Droid ships. They're she, transformers? They are not. They, they're not robots in disguise. They're just droid ships. But they're not like droid ships. But they are ships. robots in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so she blows them up immediately. There's no There's no tension whatsoever. Yeah, okay. And, uh, well, she blew up an entire Star Destroyer, so yeah. That's right. Yeah, but, she, uh, it's but they do get a couple of rounds off and it does cause her craft to crash in the nearby swamp outside of Kavil's uh, compound. Oh. The uh, Pickle Sisters monitor that and they're like, well, whoever the, that was will never survive the swamps and so whatever, oh. let's oh. move on. Tension. Uh, none. Oh. And so she em she emerges from the swamps a la the Terminator or whatever and this would mean something if anyone cared. <laughs> Excuse me, it's like the Terminator meets James Bond. It is like Except James she's, Bond. Yeah. She's emerging from the water. She's got the yeah. belt and everything. Wah, wah, wah. So Car Yang goes and he meets up with Mr. Thrumble. And he's like, I need the... <laughs> Thrumble is sitting with his sexy woman, probably droid, and immediately Yang walks up and he just starts going, I'm looking for the human looking droid named Guri! Like, just, wow, he's a master of interrogation. <laughs> Second best in the galaxy. I mean, that must be a low effing bar. I mean, I guess he's the best now. Right. Well, well Boba Fett is alive. But it is. But nobody knows. Nobody that. knows that yet because this is like immediately after Return of the so Jedi. So everyone thinks he's dead. Right. So but this guy should be. Yeah. Or maybe word hasn't gotten out that he died yet. That's true. And Steve oh. Perry did say in the actual meta text of this book, he's still second best. Maybe that means that Bosk is number one now. Oh, <laughs> maybe he's not referring no, to Boba Fett. No, what it means Fett. is that like Boba Fett's so amazing that even dead, he's better than this <laughs> That's guy. That's fair. I mean, he is. <laughs> yeah. Because That's every time you see him, you think. Boy, I wish that was Boba Fett. <laughs> so, or anything else. Yeah. yeah. Literally, try anything else. Thrumble uh, is like, oh, I think I might want to reconsider threatening me because this bar owes me. And so everyone in the bar is like, ah, oh, and they like surround oh. him. And then with no action whatsoever, he immediately defeats all of them. He kills all of them. And he's like, you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> and he starts pecking at him. But you yeah. don't get to see that Did fight. You... It's just everyone's just down. Yeah. That sucks. It sucks on toast. We see Yang threaten Thrumble. He is surrounded. Everyone's on the ground. Right. Like he released some kind of nerve gas. <laughs> right. And then... And Thrumble's just taking a drink. It's just like... No, that is the drink that he takes after he already tells Yang all the information he needs. We jump cut from the defeated people to oh my Yang God. having the information and leaving. Uh, don't do that. That is way too confusing. Holy crap. Holy crap. I know. That is not communicated by that panel layout. No. No, that looks like that guy like told him like his like a deep like Thrumble told Yang a deep dark secret. And then Yang's like, oh, Yang, and like, he oh, ran away. Go. Like you're actually a robot. You were one of my first. So <laughs> I wish you would have been better. You would have been able to be Boba Fett. Exactly. It, it, it would have been better to not have that panel. Yes, because we would have gotten it if Yang was in hot pursuit of Guri, as he will be in this story. We'll just assume that. Thrumble was intimidated enough to give him the information. Yeah, instead Thrumble looks unperturbed. Yes. As if he didn't lose. And I think it's because- But he definitely lost. He did, but I think Thrumble is like, I didn't want to willfully give him the information, but I have such faith in my abilities to make dope, sexy assassin droids that- It's not gonna even It matter. won't even matter that he has this information. So then Doc starts protesting to, uh, you know, his captors that, you know, this, action of reprogramming droids into assassin droids, that's illegal, and uh, they, they, they threaten to throw him in the swamp. And what? he's like, oh, okay, never mind, I guess I'll do what you want. You're a droid, what do you care? You're just right along the bottom until you come out the other side. I know, uh, <laughs> as evidenced by R2-D2. Aren't you the most advanced droid in the world? Yeah, if R2-D2, a presumably 40-year-old machine, <laughs> can skim the bottoms of, a, of, of waters as murky as the swamps of Dagobah, 
then Doc could could sail through the ocean waters. Anyway, so he <laughs> falls in line and starts doing the programming. Yeah, he doesn't seem very advanced. He seems like a dupe. Yeah, he's he, no. But he needs to use a buzzsaw. <laughs> right? It's just, it's just that way we know that he's doing Well, there's no work. there's no like port for right. doing this because you're not supposed to be able to even exactly. do it. Exactly. This is uh, closed end end. It's like an Apple product. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's voiding his warranty. <laughs> Don't do it, Doc. Well, definitely reprogramming a droid as an assassin droid is going to void your warranty. Absolutely. <laughs> there's no way around that. Yeah, you're not going to get the Geek Squad. We've crossed that, that Rubicon. So, <laughs> Curry faces off against a monster that is created specifically for the story for Guri to kill and show how awesome she is, <laughs> even though she blew up an effing Star Destroyer within the first two pages of the yeah, story. Yeah, but she had her fancy ship. You could say that was just the ship. So I got to see her hand to hand now. But she, right. she, she, she beat those guys in the alley. Oh, yeah, That's she true, did but she didn't fight alley. a predator. Yeah, but look so at that monster. It's she so does crazy. kill this leech monster. <laughs> and then we Why see... Why would you be here? Why would you build your base here? Right, well, because I guess you're so good at your job of hiring dangerous people that you're insulated by your employment. And also, it deters people from coming to your backwater moon. There's like a million I know. planets and moons. <laughs> right. So you, know, you pick the one with the deadly predator Maybe thing they're from there. here. Well, it's yeah, home. they're indigenous. I mean, My like, home this is. I mean, Trandishans are indigenous to Kashyyyk. Or at least they were in the Legends canon. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we see our not Shizor character right. communicating with a droid. What droid is it? It's the droid that is run by Yang. Yang's droid uh -huh. is actually not Shizor's droid. Oh. And that droid is keeping tabs on Yang, making sure that Yang is on the level so that Yang can recover Guri and bring it to not Shizor. I see. You follow me? Yes. Yeah. So, it's, so just, it's definitely Shizor then. It's well, just needlessly complicated. Yes. So then yeah. Shizor is identified by the Rodean who, who earlier identified him as just a simple and meek Faline junk trader. And so this Rodean is like, hey, and he has a name and I don't care. And he's like, there were rumors that you survived the explosion of the Skyhook, and now you're coming with me because I'm sure there's a bounty on you, or at least if there isn't, there will be when people find out that you're actually alive. And then Shizor takes off his mask to reveal that he is not Shizor at all, but is in fact Savan, a female Faline, who is the niece of Shizor. <laughs> And I go, all right, <laughs> if this is going to suck, at least make it the daughter of Shizor. I guess I have a lot of them. Well, right. but, but I would have mentioned in the book if she had a daughter. If would had a we? Daughter. So, no. So, um, so, so it's got to be the niece. all intents and purposes, Savan is the daughter of Shizor. <laughs> but to keep it from not being the most tropey comic you've ever read, it's the niece of Shizor, who also worked for Black Sun and learned everything she did from Shizor and was the rightful heir of Black Sun, but was on a separate mission that did not include the Skyhook. And so when she returned, she discovered that she had missed everything. Oh, oh what happened? So, oh, why was she wearing Shizor's face but pretending to not be Shizor? <laughs> she wasn't even wearing his face. It was like an old version of it. Like, I don't understand. Or maybe she wasn't wearing his face. Maybe she was trying to wear just any I mean, face. It's a Faline. She's the same thing. And why would she reveal herself to a, this r random Rodean other than she needs to reveal herself to us? That's why. Yes. Well, also because she will now employ the Rodean to work for her. Oh. Okay. okay. But he didn't agree to work to you, for you before you... I guess she'll kill him if he doesn't work for her. <sighs> okay. She, no. I she woos him, not with her pheromones, by the way, <laughs> but through the art of the deal. That's it. Just like, oh. Yeah, uh -uh. but I bet she would kill him if he turned it down. Probably. She's pretty. So she's, she doesn't have anything to fear. Yeah, she's a pretty savvy character. <laughs> Savan. You chose this book <laughs> over a different book. Yes. I can't okay. imagine. That one starred that Darth one. Vader. Ah. It was called Ghost Prison. <laughs> Ghost Pri Star Wars Ghost Prison. Actually, it's called Star Wars Darth Vader Ghost Prison. <laughs> Oh, prison of ghosts. No, it's a secret black ops oh, prison that was created by the Jedi the ghost Council prison. Oh. during the Clone Wars, where they kept uh, really, really bad dudes uh, that they would then try after the Clone Wars were over. Oh. 
But the Clone Wars ended when the when the council was destroyed. Yes. Oh, they were planning to try them, but they never got a chance they to. They didn't get around to it. I see. And then Vader is like, I need access to this ghost prison. And so <laughs> he goes, it, let's not get into ghost prison right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, that's a whole other episode. That's a whole other episode. Yeah. At least we know now why she had to fight all these things. Yes. Oh, so that you talk about Guri, so that we can see how hot she is underneath that like Guri outfit. Right, we got to get it yeah, torn up a little bit. Yeah, it's not that she's wearing the skin tight outfit. Right, we need to rip the skin tight outfit yes. Yes. so that I can color parts of her flesh color. Yes, so that it'll titillate your Star Wars fans. <laughs> so Guri is clearly oh well, look, she, we ain't reading this book for the she, plot. She no, she kills a whole bunch of cats. She, she kills, kills a bunch of cats. Jaguars, horrible. And, now uh, I'm really not behind you at all. Uh, yeah. No. You've completely lost my support. Maybe they're just asleep. So look at that one. Really looks really tired. Everyone looks like a dolly <laughs> clock, but all right. <laughs> so the Pickle Sisters, formerly the Pike Sisters, uh, because they changed the name. They changed the name. Are there pickles in Star Wars? They, this is spelled P-I-K-K-E-L. Oh, Pickel. I call it Pickle mm -hmm. because it's more uh, <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah. So the Pickle Sisters are talking about this impressive droid that has been reprogrammed the first of many by Doc, right. and how he's a perfect assassin droid, they're really excited about it. Too bad we didn't have time for Doc to program and do some other stuff, because these twins want to bang this robot. This robot that looks <laughs> expressionless. <laughs> it looks like what a battle droid would look like if they were invented by the time this book came out. Maybe right. he's got it where it goes. Yeah. We can see he oh. doesn't because yeah. he's just a robot. Maybe there's like a flap. It Maybe opens he's got up an attachment yeah, or what? something. Yeah, yeah an attachment. Got, yeah, like R2 when he plugs into yeah. Bespin's uh, communication system. He's got a bunch system. of different yeah. attachments you could put on. Yeah, well, they, they lament that he doesn't. <laughs> and so we got to make 10 more, and so Doc gets to work. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're going to have all these assassin droids. That's now right. Now Guri's going to have to fight like 10 assassin droids. Mm -hmm. She's going to have to kill and, her own and, kind. And, and a bounty hunter. Yes. And the bounty hunter. And Kar Yang. Also who, coming for So Spitnik Kavil gets a ping that there's more people entering their atmosphere. So then the Pickle Sisters hop on swoop bikes. Hey, remember Ooh, those? Oh, swoop bikes. Hey, so a thing. Now it's Shadows of the Empire. Yeah. So they hop on their swoop bikes and they go and they find Kar Yang's ship. And so they infiltrate the ship and they're searching it. But Kar Yang is one step ahead of them. He is outside the ship watching them and identifies them as the Pickle Sisters, formerly the Pike Sisters, because he changed the name. <laughs> While that goes on, Doc is chipping away at one of the droids, does something suspicious, Ooh. and then uh, the, the Pickle Sisters make their way back. Uh, there's also a energy shield surrounding Spidnik Kavil's compound, which protects him from the uh, swamp predators. Right, because you need to build that if you choose to build your base here. Right. right. Why didn't you go to Hoth or something? Right? There's, there's a lot less you're going to run into there. Well, it's hard to adapt the shield generators to the cold. That's true. You wouldn't need the shield generators. <laughs> no, that's well, well, you maybe do you want for the, for for the shield. Not being bombarded as well. Oh. That's true. It's a dual purpose shield. Oh, okay. So Spidnik Kavil opens up a small hole in the shields for the Pickle Sisters to swoop bike back through because they went on their recon mission, accomplishing nothing. Like, they find Yang's ship, they get on it, nobody's on it, they're like, cool. Then huh. they leave, okay. but Yang recognizes the Pickle Sisters, like, ooh, they're serious business. So then the Pickle Sisters but go through the thing. But not as serious business as I am. No, because I'm the no. second best bounty <laughs> on the galaxy. Right. And these girls just mercs. So then Guri jumps through the hole and ends up in the compound of- That was fortunate for her that a hole opened up right there. That's very true. Yeah. So then <laughs> the Pickle Sisters join with Spidnik Kavil, and then Guri arrives and reveals herself to them. Right. And this you're is, like, uh-huh. This is very tedious. But then, <laughs> oh then we go back to Coruscant what? where a bunch, and when I say a bunch, I mean like no fewer than a half dozen. You got like a Rodean and a Twi'lek. And, and Splinter. And Splinter. I was literally <laughs> going to say that. <laughs> right? Yeah, and that Squid Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. A Queel. Oh, is that, is that the other it's race that's on the other race from Mon Calamari? Calamari. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The Cthulhu. <laughs> the Cthulhu Man. Yeah. yeah. But they're all bad guys who are arguing over who gets to take over Black Sun. And I'm thinking, Black Sun... Oh, there, there is an actual Mon Calamari and who looks shocked oh, yeah. and upset as usual. Well, because, you know... <laughs> like they look. It, yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> Usually it is. <laughs> but oh, it's a trap. I'm like... Black it's been Sun, a year. It's been a year, man, and you're still bitching about this? Like, pick a guy and move on. So they're all complaining about it, but then... There's this other person, this very charismatic human woman, who's like, everybody, hey, 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 is come she, on. Is she, what's-her-face's, Guri? 
No. Okay, good. She is not Savan's Whatever her name is. Guri. I don't care what her name is. The female Shizor. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, man. Like, she seems like a natural leader. We gotta make sure <laughs> that she doesn't get in charge. And I'll never listen to a human before that. And so they're being spied on by Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, R2, 3PO, and Lando. And some guy. And a guy. And some guy. Hey, we know these people, yes. Yes. Finally. Finally. They're spying on them. Now is when this book gets good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> so they're spying on them, and they go, and, and the random guy who's also here, who's not invited, who when he speaks, He's everyone definitely looks gonna over him. definitely going to die. Oh, no, no, no. They just, they just look at him like, Excuse me. <laughs> who let you in here? But, I don't uh, know if you know who we are. Yeah, we're, we're the, the main, main characters. <laughs> So he's like, I, he I goes, think, are you sure you're supposed to be here? I feel like, you, I don't look at the call sheet. I didn't see <laughs> random guy. And, and you're speaking not when spoken to? Usually you're the kind of person I ask a question of and then... Yeah. Well, I think it's that he brought this security tape to the plucky band of heroes. Mm. So Han's like, how'd you get this? And the guy's only offer is, Black Sun security ain't what it used to be. I'm like, fair enough. And like that would be interesting if he worked for Black Sun and he wanted them to get it because somebody at Black Sun wanted revenge. But no, it's all on the level. It's just Wait, really? Black Sun's very crappy at security. You mean now. it's not like Savan set this up so no. that they, she, they would take down everyone from the inside so she could actually take charge of Black Sun? Right? You'd think that. But Savan does want to take control of Black Sun. Anyway, <laughs> so Han is intrigued by the woman. It's like, who's that? But not like in a sexy way, more like in a, everyone has a name at that table except for her, she's a new player. And then Leia goes, somebody who isn't the least bit interested in you. And I'm like, it's the end of Return of the Jedi, you're together. <laughs> no, but then in Truce of Bakura, we had to like build up like That's tension, right, yeah. so it was like ambiguous. Well, we had to do the courtship of Princess. Well, that also had to happen. Yeah, but uh, we're, we're, we're back. We gotta drag this out. We gotta drag it out. Yeah. And I'm like, they are together. Uh, they just kissed, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty meaningful kiss. It was. Well, they're, so they're dating, but it's uh, maybe it's kind of like, mm, are we dating? You know, mm -hmm. it's complicated. It, it, they're in. It's complicated. They it's are, like my they, dad died. I need some time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, I found out my dad was Darth Vader, and yeah, then he died. Yeah, I just found out my dad is Darth Vader, and then he died right after. So I'm yeah. dealing with a lot. And I remembered my mom, <laughs> even though there's no way I would. So Guri makes herself known to Spindic Cavill and the Pickle Sisters. Behold, it's me. It's me, and I'm hot. And the Pickle Sisters are ready to jump into action and kick her ass. And uh, Cavill's like, whoa, 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 she's worth more to us alive. So make sure to only like incapacitate her. She kicks their ass immediately. Right. And then. Before Spidnik can veal, can attack Guri, the droid that was programmed by Doc, disarms Kavil. <laughs> because of course Doc programmed the droid to incapacitate his captors. Right. And because they don't know what it's doing. No. So how would they know whether he programmed it right or not? And the droid doesn't even have a face to give away <laughs> when he's, he's thinking. So the so 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 Doc goes, I've made a few modifications of my own. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Obadiah Stane, what are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, and he actually says that? I added a few modifications of my oh own. Oh my god, yay. <laughs> to this particular unit. Did I mention that? And I'm like, to whom would you have mentioned it? Yeah, what? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? There's a couple of lines in here where I'm like, editorial should have stopped you. <laughs> so, I mean, there's one that's agreed. Like, there are a couple of lines where you're like, all right, you know what, colloquials, I got nothing. I'm, I'm so glad that like they didn't dub over Han Solo's line in Empire where it's like, I'll see you on Mustafar. You know, because of course, where is hell? Is hell a planet or something? Like, what, what, you know, is there a is there a Judeo-Christian analog on <laughs> Star Wars? It's like, I'll see you in hell is just in a line we say, it doesn't matter. But there's a line in here where I'm like, no. <laughs> no. They would not say that. No one would say that. No one would say that at the time this book was written. Maybe so, Star Wars is being universally translated for the audience, and so hell is the closest thing, yes. the closest right, reference not, for us. They're not speaking English, right, so right. that's a translation yeah. for us. That's true. Yeah, but usually when, when you do that, you don't translate things like hell. You would say, no. you know, what they say in their language. Right. Because it's like I'll a, see you in Bark. It's like a proper noun. Exactly. Or something. Right. Yeah. They just figure we're too stupid. Yeah, yeah, they're like, well, this is like. You know what yeah. they mean. Yeah. You'd be like, what is that? Yeah. And then <laughs> you'd, you'd look up I couldn't tell what he was talking about. Go to Wikipedia and figure <laughs> it out. So, so Guri's like, hey, Doc, uh, listen, Masad Thrumble sent me to get you, and so let's go. And he's like, sounds great. Let's go. <laughs> I can leave at any time. 
they're just gonna I'm leave, so I'm so capable. They're just gonna leave that assassin right there. Yeah, to 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 hold Spindic Kavil, I, I guess until he dies. Right. I love I'd love to see that. Like characters show up <laughs> at Spindic Kavil's and he's just a skeleton being held by a droid. And the droid's like, "Hello, <laughs> <laughs> I've been online the entire time. I heard his." I his only had one wails. command. <laughs> it was just to hold I on to him. <laughs> <laughs> so have you come to release me from my eternal duty <laughs> sure okay on to drop a skeleton. the skeleton ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a xylophone a sound <laughs> well here's a bunch of ships I've never seen before yeah there's a bunch of things I've never seen it doesn't yeah. matter it's just to, it's, it's meant to convey this looks like they are ominously attacking some location but actually it's just because we're back on Coruscant there's a lot of ships <laughs> well the characters I care about yes, they're coming back. back yeah they're yeah. coming back don't worry okay. cool. are they going to do anything or are they just going to watch more videos no they'll be <laughs> they're going to get involved oh okay so Kar Yang observes Guri and Doc escape on a swoop bike and leave and the droid that was sent by Savan asks Car Yang, if he's gonna go and try and capture Guri right now, and he's like, no, not right now. That would be too easy. He doesn't say that. He's more like, I've, I'll pick. I like to pick the place. I mean, you could just do it, nope. and then we'd all be done. <laughs> no, but I pick the place. That's what he says. I pick the place. I pick the time. I do that. So what? Guri that sounds like you're not very good at all. <laughs> yeah, but that's well, why it sounds he's the like second he's best. scared of her. No, and I would he wants be. to make sure he has the upper hand. Yeah, that's like, true. I'm pretty intimidated. She's very attractive. I'm well, only the second best, and I have hollow <laughs> bones. So. <laughs> Guri uh, pulls her ship out of the swamp. Using uh, she, the force? No, she just uses a remote control and hid there. And so uh, she she and Doc board the ship. The droid is like, uh, if she gets on the ship, we might lose her. And that's when Kar Yang shoots a tracker on the ship and then proceeds to follow it. I just noticed that Kar Yang has little curly things, like he's a British judge coming out of his Oh, head. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. weird. It is weird. It's a weird thing to it's add. It's a weird and selectively specific thing to add to maybe that character. Maybe it's like bones. Uh, yeah, it's it probably bones, bones or, or cartilage. Be, you know, maybe like maybe a, he uses it as a mating ritual. Oh, yes. Maybe like plumage pops out of them. Or, or like perhaps he makes a specific sound. Or they're, vest they're vestigial, but they used to have wings there at some point. Oh, my God. So... Han and the entire crew have been sent on this mission Yay. to meet with Black Sun and try to negotiate with them. To do what? To not conduct their business terribly. To stop being a criminal organization? No, they, they're worried about like innocents getting caught in the crossfire of Black Sun's power struggle. Ah. What, why doesn't the um, New Republic do something about it? Yeah, why don't they arrest the shit out of them? This doesn't really seem like a, well, they're too busy a, with the a job for our plucky band of saviors. Of, of, of literal leaders of this government now? Yeah. I don't know. So they go, and uh, while that's going on, uh, Guri is being tracked by... Uh, Kar Yang. Kar Yang, and Kar Yang muses to the droid, which he assumes is on the level, that uh, he's seen Guri in action and how capable she is and how much more advantageous it might be for him to get Guri for himself and make her his droid. Squawk. That's right. <laughs> Bacock. <laughs> so then Savan reveals that she is the human who is trying to jockey for control of Black Sun so, by putting uh, on a human mask over well, her face. Because she wears masks. That's her thing. That's her I, thing. That is her and thing. And rather than make her into like a changeling of some kind, we need her to be a Scooby-Doo villain. Or, or, rather or a Mission Impossible character. Or rather than have her just put on the like old Falling like mask and show up and then be like holy crap it's she's or <laughs> yeah she's like i have to do this whole other thing not use my pheromones no for some reason for some reason right we could have seen that that would have been neat maybe she could have tried to like appeal them be like no my uncle he was my uncle we're barely related right i want to control black sun in a more uh diplomatic and fair way you know i can work with you guys you know i'm not my uncle but no, she is a straight-up mustache-twirling villain, or at least she would be if she was wearing a mask with a mustache you on. You know, he, she's or had, like, rooms full of clothes. She's got rooms full of masks. weird masks. That's right, he did. So Han, Luke, Leia, and Chewie go to meet with Savan. She goes by Savan, by the way, as her humanoid form. Uh -huh. And uh, they is are that, then... Isn't that what her 
her regular her name? actual folly name is. Yeah, but they don't know that she exists because I guess she was a well kept secret by Shizor, mm. except that's not established. So <laughs> they get attacked by a bunch of other bad guys who want to assassinate her to take over Black Sun. Ah. And so they're just there. Uh, th yeah. So they are defeated. That is to say, the bad guys. And so now all that's left is Savan and our heroes. And she's like, yeah. Those guys may be soldiers of Vecker, a character we will never see who is named at least 10 times. <laughs> and Vecker could be, you know, and look, look, at least it's Vecker and not Sprax or Crete Ah. And I'm like, stop it. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. Enough. With games. That's wants, enough, Steve Perry. This is not, stop it. This is not world building. Yeah. No. You are not world building. No, None of this are, is gonna You are Vader's questing again. So Ravan admits that she's grateful for their rescue and then proceeds to try and like woo Han Solo. We don't get any indication that like she's using her pheromones. <laughs> I think Han's just a player who's just down for this attention. Where is, where is um, Lando in this? Lando's season? not here. He is coordinating is he on with- the ship? Lando is Going coordinating with another person. I was going to say, Lando would be like, Hello, what are we here? <laughs> no, Lando is the only person who actually has contacts anywhere in the galaxy because he's got friends Ooh, everywhere and they right. all allow him to have these meetings. Right. Or she could try Luke. Yeah. Nobody tries Luke. So <laughs> she gets on Oh, the come on, guys. <laughs> Why him all the time? So then <laughs> Savannah gets on her ship and she talks to the droid that, of course, she put in... Car Yang's possession. Right. And the droid tells Savan that Car Yang is asleep. We see that Car Yang is not asleep. That is not a mistake. Car Yang is now double crossing the double crosser. And so the droid tells Savan that Car Yang plans on double crossing her and stealing Guri for himself. So is that like a ploy? He's like, I think that droid's not on the level. So I'm going to yes. tell him something that he can't help but tell her. Yes. Tell whoever owns And then I'm going to listen to I, I, in on it. I honestly that think that the droid actually was told this in confidence, but Car Yang was not quite asleep yet. Oh. Uh -huh. Second best. So this is how he finds because out. Because Car Yang does want Guri for like, himself. What? Yeah, he's like, no, I heard my name. <laughs> cool. So Guri makes her way to Mr. Thrumble, and Mr. Thrumble, now reunited with Doc, proceeds to do the surgery necessary. Oh, right. She wanted the surgery. Yes. While that goes oh, on. Yeah. Why did he do that? Because because <laughs> because he she brought him. Why his does she care? Droid. Okay. So uh, while no, that no, he's like, why did he fix her outfit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, on the ship that Car Yang and the droid occupy, the lights go out, and the droid sees that there's a like a light down this narrow hallway, and Car Yang bids the droid go investigate, and then kills the droid. Wow, mm. what an amazing bounty hunter. Yes. Incredible. Wow. Light sleeper. So <laughs> Guri is now given the surgery, or at least they go through it. Uh, Thrumble proceeds to explain to her, like, hey, listen, like, this is, if we like get a hair out of place in this, we'll wipe your memories completely. Like she wants mm. to be Guri and know stuff. But not know stuff. But not remember all, she wants the guilt erased. Right. I see. I guess that's why you need a special doctor robot to do it. Cause it's not it's just very selective. wiping. It's no, like exactly. selectively finding those memories. Then again. I mean, they seem like they're files. Right, right. so it should be like way and, easier than it would be in yeah. a comparable like human being. And if she had sentience and she lived in the Star Trek universe, uh, Picard would say something like, uh, <laughs> part memory. of being human is learning to integrate those experiences into your being and, right. uh, and, and, and live with them. Right, or if she saw Eternal spot, uh, Sunshine and the Spotless Mind, she, she would realize. Like, That's what I, oh, it, yeah, you, you're destined to repeat yourself. Yeah. So while they are prepping Guri for the surgery, Kar Yang just appears and he's like, nobody move! <laughs> Second best bounty in the galaxy. Squawk! <laughs> <Talk. laughs> Kar Yang does it again. <laughs> <laughs> so then Guri fights Kar Yang. Oh, and just gets up and rips out the wires. It's just like, all right. Yes. Okay. And like Kar Yang is a bird man and Guri is a fucking robot. And so she, she, she uh, gets thrown across the room. He's like, don't make me do it. Like he's going to shoot her with, her, with her with his blaster. Yeah. And she digs her hand into his body. 
Oh my god. I, I adore it. I'm like, thank you. And thus endeth Car Yang, the second best bounty hunter in the Holy galaxy. Holy crap. Well, yeah, and Dengar's was like, yes, no, first like row. That was amazing. You just used your brute strength, which was just fundamentally higher than like, his. Three people could have done the same thing. <laughs> oh, except that you can't just reprogram him. No. It's actually really hard to do that, so that would be amazing. No, well, no, three people's servers are extra weak. Yeah. yeah. He, they, <laughs> no, he's got to hold trays. <laughs> Yeah they're, yeah, they're just trained. They don't want a protocol droid to accidentally murder a diplomat or something <laughs> right? with his strength. So. so he's dead. Like, yeah. he's just dead on the floor, and she's like, all right, let's continue. And so the, like... <laughs> well, so, we wrapped up that plot. Yes. For, and, th that occurred for no reason, apparently. Right. And, and Doc just drags the corpse across the room, and this thing, it, like, I imagine it has the same speed as a Roomba. So it's just like... <laughs> like just an awkwardly long and and, and excruciating. They have, to, they have to wait for him to come back. I know, like, he's, he's got to do the surgery. He's got to yeah. finish that up and then. Isn't come there back. some sort of like like uh, maid droid that could do that? Uh, no, that's why I needed him back because he's also my maid droid. So oh, Savan makes her way to Thrumble to recover Guri. She wants Guri because Guri was Shizor's droid. And Guri has secret files and access to money. She referenced oh. all the money she had. With Guri, Savan can become the head of Black Sun. I see. It's Whoever like a, has Guri has the keys. That's right. She is the secret pass key that gets you everything in Black Sun. Seems like a really dumb way to. Run well, if a it's an assassin droid, it's like you know, if it's I try to safe. recover anything from does, Guri, does she'll Guri kill you. Does Guri know that? Yes. Oh. Does she want that erased as well? Yeah. Oh. I feel like that's a better reason. But she doesn't yeah. Here's the thing, it doesn't come up. That, oh. that is a way better reason for her to go on this adventure. Yes. I agree. It does not yeah. come up. No, it's like she, as long as I have these, they'll always come after me. Yes. Yeah, I'm no. never actually free. No, she wants her bad <laughs> memories of choking out people because that's literally a moment that we see is erased. Is she programmed to feel bad? Uh, her sentience <laughs> makes her feel bad. I guess, and yeah. I'm telling you, again, if you're sentient and then you don't need, th then just look. You want, you, no, you, no. You want absolution. Right. Get religion, Guri. Well, so, I mean, I, you're supposed to relate with, like, anybody might want to have certain memories related. Absolutely. Erased, I assume in the book she's going to learn that, like, she's, no. you can't just do that. No. No? no she she definitely gets those erased. Oh, fuck. Okay. So while it's going on, for no reason whatsoever, as our heroes make their way to what they don't know is actually a Guri book, <laughs> Leia pulls up an image of Savan, the woman they interacted with, and Savan, the secret niece of Shizor, and realizes they're an exact match for each other. I what? don't see that much of a secret then. I don't know. Does Leia like remember seeing Savan? And she's no. like, she looks familiar. No. She Where does she get the idea to do this comparison? It's never explained. The Force. Man, that's your answer for everything. <laughs> she has she, them up on the screen, she and she is a goes, Jedi. She goes, or... I was doing a little research on your Black Sun girlfriend, Han, and I discovered that it's a perfect match for Shizor's niece. Is Guri like in love with Luke Skywalker secretly? That is the implication of the art and nothing else. <laughs> is that all she, every time she thinks of something bad, she thinks of Luke Skywalker and how he didn't kill her. Well, so. But she was overcome by him, as you can see. Naturally. By his, by his charisma uh -huh. and charm. Right. Yes, and by his raw sexuality. <laughs> or it's just like, he when is the person who set her free. I'm That's not it. gonna lie. When when you said she ha she had to find him, I was like, oh my god, she's going after Luke. Right. She's like, I don't get it, man. You're like, like and then she's you like, why? You changed my life. Like, I used to be totally fine with being an assassin and yeah. killing people, and I met and you. And then and all you of walked sudden, away. Yes, right. you walked away. Yeah. You walked away. You didn't try to bone me at all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, that makes me want to bone you even more. <laughs> I, I like, am. Okay. I am very attracted to and you. And that'd be really right. fun. That'd be a neat, that'd be a neat relationship where it's like Luke, who's force sensitive, with a robot he can't possibly like control or understand. Right. No, but he and has R2's to get with like, Mara Jade later. Nice. He puts out a little fist. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> so meanwhile, the, she's having the surgery. So I guess the surgery what is, is that? That's just these are things that she killed Someone at she some killed. point. Yeah. That, because Thrumble is like, I wonder what dreams she's having in that wondrous brain of hers, and it's the dreams of her slaughtering countless people for Black Sun. Right. So we're seeing 
her reliving the memories as he's deleting them or yes, whatever? Yes, yes. Okay. We're seeing like what's going on in her mind. The things that we can justify we want her to rid herself of. Right. So Savannah and her Rodean friend discover her double-crossing droid destroyed by Car Yang. And so she knows, oh no, like Car Yang might be on to us, not knowing that he is dead. Right. It doesn't matter somewhere. if he's on to you because he's already dead. <laughs> yep. So the, the crew... It's just outside stuffed in the garbage can. Right. Just... It's like slightly too small. Yeah. <laughs> so the crew hops the Millennium Falcon, and I was like, wait, you mean they weren't on their way here in the first place? No, they needed to go to a guy, to another guy, to find out where Savan was going. And so they do. <laughs> Savan is like, I need to get in to Thrumble's quarters and get Guri. This right. book should have been called Get Guri. <laughs> Thrumble's quarters, after being intimidated by Car Yang, have been reinforced by special lasers and stuff. Oh crap, so that lasers! Yeah, it's come out of the walls. It's gonna take like an army to break in and subdue Thrumble to recover Guri. So Savan, using an intermediary, because that's what bounty hunters do, they don't just take a job and do it. They hire other bounty hunters to do their jobs for them. Right. As We've is the case with the prequels. <laughs> Literally, the plan is Savan is going to hire a whole bunch of cannon fodder to like throw themselves at... To eat all those lasers. Yeah, yeah. at Thrumble's quarter so that she can get in. That's the plan. Meanwhile, Guri has been successfully... Uh, or at least she's on her way because we see her like killing this guy, but then the guy disappears. She's like, "Why did she's I like, even? Oh, why was what? I holding why, who was I my hugging? arms like this?" Right, exactly. So well, he's he's not removing their memories. He's like changing them so that the dead people weren't in them. I think we're just but seeing an, an interpretation the of like that moment it disappeared from her mind. I see. But uh, we see that Luke is training on board the ship, and oh. Lando's like, "That is so nuts." And I, I, that's like the most human moment in this book where he's like, "I will never get over watching this kid I knew just start floating over there." <laughs> no one is floating. It's just him. And Han goes, yeah, but he's not very good at it. Watch. And then he goes, who let the Rancor in here? And then Luke falls. And Luke's like, man. And Han's like, hey, you asked me to interrupt your concentration, to test your concentration. Oh. And he's like, yeah, well, thanks a lot. Friends like you, huh? <laughs> Farts. <laughs> I, I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you use some force healing like Ray does? I'm, I'm the savior of the galaxy and ow. Ew. I have a boo-boo. <laughs> well, also remember we used to have fun and there's jokes and stuff. Right? Remember that Here's fun? one. Here's one. <laughs> Here's one. Here's one for you. <laughs> this is a joke. I fell on my head. <laughs> Not a shoulder. <laughs> my shoulder. It'd be great if we dislocated are it. Are R2 very good. 3PO here? They are here. Uh, 3PO bitches to R2 where he goes, we're not policemen. Why are we chasing criminals across the galaxy? You're a leader of the entire government. Why are we doing this? Thank you. And I'm like, Perry, don't put, don't, don't, don't put a target on this. <laughs> it, it's not like you're gonna uh, subvert our expectations. No, I'm self-aware. You see, I know how silly this is. Yeah. So Spidnik Avil finally decides it's time for me to get involved. Wait, I thought that guy was holding him. Oh, oh yeah. Droid. Yeah, no, the, well, the, the, the sisters, the Pickle sisters, they came to and they freed him. Oh. So oh. the Spid yeah, that wasn't a very good assassin Oh, yeah, droid. no, that's, well, they probably turned him off. And so they have got one good assassin droid. So we got one good sequel we can I get out of this. I don't think they do. I don't think he's an assassin droid at all. Oh, that's right. No, he's, he's just, just a, a holding he's droid. Just a, he's a, he's a, <laughs> yeah. a droid of holding. I can, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. So the Pickle <laughs> sisters are like, all right. And so uh, they're like, hey, do we, you want us to save this blonde, buxom droid when we get there? And Kavil's like, no. I just need the reprogramming droid because I'm going to sell these assassin droids. That's my whole plan. I'm an entrepreneur. Right. I still want that to do that. That's I still mean, my plan. I mean, she's literally the thing I want. Right. But it's already she made. Is one. Yeah. And yeah, I, but she has free will and stuff. She's it. not going to do it for me. No, so. but I need the ones that look like nobody. And so she's like, they're like, good. Yeah, let's go. So now we're getting involved. Yeah, uh, we're, we're back in the book, baby. Oh, yeah. man. Look at all these threads coming together. That's it's right. just some sort of crappy quilt. Like <laughs> Star Wars. So that's, what? No. That's also, Star Wars. That's Star Wars, baby. Star Wars is not a crappy quilt. Isn't it? Hello. It's all coming together. I love that the last like six pages have just been gurry motionless with things stuck in her head just yes over and over because well, we want to show you God, like this process fuck it's, it's hard forever, and man. it works look we see that oh, she's or she's starting being to erased. disappear so she eventually comes to and that was the end of that issue it was like she she awakens oh, oh did it work i hope so because i love guri now and uh, this book does not go hard enough it should imply that like he like raped her and like she's trying to get the the memory memories out. Yeah. instead it's just like his face because it's a dark like, horse comic there's what no code memories can... are you trying to remove 
exactly. We see only what one implication this? of it, and it's and it's Shizor naked in a bath, and her giving him like a goblet of wine. But she's not like in I a mean, robe right. or anything. I mean, so that just strikes me. more like he's that gross. Me as, a, as a Sunday for Shizor. Right. right. Like, he treated me like a cell phone. <laughs> or a or dog. Like a butler or something. Like, where I was yeah. like, I just disrobe wherever I want and let my feces fall where it may. <laughs> and it was just a horrible experience working for Shizor. He's like, turn on the recorder. I want to make a like a, like a a video yeah, to send out. to send out on all frequencies. So, uh, this is her looking at him. Just, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's just he's just gross. Right. And I want to forget that. And I don't like it. Uh, so okay. Thrumble's like, did it work? And she goes, what's this? Who are you? And he goes, oh, no. And she goes, ha, I'm just kidding. I remember that I had bad memories, but I don't remember any of them at all. But I do remember you, Mr. Thrumble, and I remember Doc, and I remember the adventure I went on, but I don't remember anything about, like, me murdering anybody. Yay, it worked great. So <laughs> then, well, how would you know it worked great? It, right. Because I, I because I wanted memories gone, but I don't remember what they were, so it must have worked out perfectly. And so <laughs> the entire crew, Chewie, Creepio, R2-D2, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Lou Skywalker, they're all making their way And to Lando Calrissian. Yes, and Lando, Lando. who uh, got a tip about where Savan is, <laughs> and then uh, they realize that, like, so they realize somehow through Lando's contact that we don't see that uh, who's over here is just like, oh. <laughs> and Lando goes, Savan must be here to recover Guri. Remember Guri? <laughs> and everyone but Han is like, yes. <laughs> and Han's like, who's Guri? We, we, it's played for laughs, where each character, including Chewie, goes, uh, is, is, says something they remember about Guri, and Han responds to it by saying, who's Guri, before finally ending with, who's Guri? And then Leia goes, you were frozen in a carbonite, dear. <laughs> so then, uh, because yeah, he, he wasn't that. in the book. Remember? Like, he knows he was frozen in carbonate. That's not yeah. the question. It's not like, when did this happen? No. Yeah, like, I get it. No. It was when I was frozen in carbonate. Could you know just tell me who, who she is? is? And why do you even care? Half of you didn't even interact with her. So, the, the, the barricade. <laughs> yeah, but we told each other about her, right. but we didn't tell Han about her. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> our little secret. Yeah. yeah we kept Don't ever tell him about that part secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never told me everything about Shizor, and we almost raped Leia. But we're going to leave out the part where he had a sexy robot that looked exactly like a human being. And there's Don't, no other droids like it in the galaxy. Do not tell Han about do that. Do not tell him about that, because he's going to look for her. But the, <laughs> the, the, the barrage of people works. They make their way in, and Thrumble's like, oh, ho, I've got other plans. Like, I've got other ways around this. And so they just leave through a back door and abandon their post. So uh, the Pickle Sisters then start to converge on the gang. Like clandestinely, you know? Oh. Like Well, they're coming from different directions. Yeah. So like they bump into each other. Right. And so they just start blasting and right. like, the, other people shoot them. Exactly. And the pickle sister's like, oh crap. And meanwhile, Lando's like, oh, those are the Pike sisters. But I think they've changed their name. And so while the pickle sisters are hiding from blaster fire, they're talking to Spidna Kavil. And Kavil's like, just shoot those randos. I don't know who they are. And they're like, that was Chewbacca the Wookiee, the most famous Wookiee in the galaxy. <laughs> they don't know who Luke Skywalker is? No. They don't recognize him immediately. They go, that's Chewbacca the Wookiee. And Chewbacca the Wookiee is the most formidable Wookiee in the galaxy. And Chewbacca <laughs> the Wookiee works with movers and shakers in the new alliance, which includes people like Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. So basically... Perry just wanted to make it that like Chewie has a fan club someplace. Yep. Like, people well, like Chewie. There are people who like Chewie, and like, who are those people? Yes. Well, they're, they're the, the the Pickle Sisters are aliens, right? They're Sometimes. like, I mean, yeah, they gotta be, right? So they're like, I don't know who those aliens are, but that one is it's, Chewie. It's Chewbacca. All those humans Wookie. look the same to me, none but Chewie is very distinct. <laughs> yes. None of them, none of these three people go like, that man has a lightsaber. <laughs> I, well, and that's literally <laughs> by far the most important detail yeah. of what we just read. Oh, it's into. great. No, well, they, they do. We ran into a whole bunch of people, but the one thing I remember call vividly is we don't see those, Space and wizard. that kid could kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Guri and Doc and Thrumble go into a panic room that has security cameras around, mm -hmm. and so they're able to watch the altercation going on in the hallway, and so they they're just like. Yeah, and Guri sees Luke Skywalker. Oh. And she's like, Skywalker, and immediately remembers Luke Skywalker uh -huh. didn't kill her. He's like, but why didn't he kill me? Why right. would he have killed me in the first place? Right, and so uh, she's like, I gotta talk to him. And he's like, no, we gotta wait here with me. Like, forget it. And so while that's going on, uh, Spidnik Kavil is like, hey, um, 
go kill those people in the way and get my crap. Excuse me, Wookiees are a noble and yeah. mighty race. Yes. I will not be also going to kill Also, they're real hard to kill. kill. <laughs> no, they go... I don't know if you know this, they rip people's arms off. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. And that's uh, only over games of chance. Yeah. No, what they go is, they, they're like, no, if Chewie's running with the people he used to run with, those are the luckiest people in the galaxy. <laughs> and okay. I will not win against them. That is that is the realest thing in this <laughs> yep. freaking comic. Are and he you goes, kidding me? He goes, who cares? And they go, what? They go, they killed Jabba the Hutt, blew up two Death Stars, <laughs> and killed the Emperor, we quit. <laughs> All right. And so he tries to shoot them, or at least coerce them, and they murder him. Yeah. Then the crew, our team, meets up with them. Like, hey. And they're like, eh, don't worry about us. We were just leaving. Unless you want to get a drink with us, Han Solo. And then Han's <laughs> like, no, I don't think that would be good for my health. And then <laughs> that's the joke. But Lando turns to Luke and he goes, I'll bet your last credit he's not talking about the drink being bad for his health. What? And I'm like... You wasted an entire panel doing that. Uh, excuse me. No, you wasted the like, space of more than a panel. Yeah, yeah. You wasted a third of the page to do one circular panel and waste the rest of it with dead whiteness. You could have just. You could have had Lando whisper to Luke something about getting like. He's like, well, you guys are gonna yeah. Well, we could. There's two of us. <laughs> uh, not so solo. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been saving that one? <laughs> uh, only about thirty seconds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thrumble oh, right, we're not done with this. Yeah, this book's not over. No, so Thrumble... All the tension is gone, yeah. but it's still going. <laughs> no, because what about Savan? So Thrumble... Oh, yeah. So Thrumble and Guri and Doc run towards... They're going to they're gonna escape because they... Because, right. Because... Why do they... Because their base is compromised or whatever. Luke Skywalker is here. Yeah, but well, all they need to do is go, Luke, yeah. please help me. But instead they run. And so they're going to go to the ship called the Stinger, by the way, because it's awesome. Because I'm hoping yeah. that I'm going to get a Kenner figure out of this whole deal. I do remember ship? seeing that. I, I do remember seeing like little miles of that ship. Yeah, the places. stinger. Yeah, yeah. it was uh, the thing. But she's having a headache. Doesn't come up. Doesn't matter anymore. But uh, so the she's having, oh, she's having, ooh, exactly. Are memories coming the memory back? Like are they? Who knows? So uh, you can't change your programming. No, you have right. to be who you are. Exactly. Or, or if you do, you have to pay for it. Right. <laughs> so uh, they're encircled by. Savan's hired goons. Oh, she has hired goons? Yeah, well, she used to, like, break into Thrumble's cut, like, oh. Thrumble's. I thought a lot more of them died. A lot I of them guess. did, but not even, not, not even close. So, uh, uh, like, I guess, those I guess defenses the, remaining, all that good. the remaining goons encircle Thrumble and Guri, and Guri's muscle memory kicks in, and she immediately dispatches all of them, and she goes, how do I know how to do that? I'm Jason Bourne now. And so, <laughs> uh, yep. they, so they take her by the arm and run away again, uh, meanwhile, Luke defeats the Rodean who worked with Savan. Oh, thank that goodness. That does not seem very hard. What the actual hell? Clearly what happened was Ron Randall's like, I only have like three pages left. I'm just going to phone it in. Yeah. And, I, uh, I, I, uh, this, I this book is not doing well. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. I'm done. And I so, love that Luke chops off this Rodean's hand. Yeah. But he well, could he easily just cut the blaster or in half. Or pull the blaster out of his hand yeah. with the force. It's like, listen, my dad taught me this move. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so Luke dispatches the Rodan and cripples him for life. And Savan clandestinely bumps into Guri and Thrumble and Doc. Hmm. And Guri does recognize her. And Savan is like, I'm here to offer you a job. And she goes, well, I'm not interested in your job. And she goes, oh, I know. But you don't have a choice. And she pulls Guri in and whispers something into her ear. I and, thought she was kissing her. Yeah, but she's not. And Doc goes, what is, what's going on here? And, th and Thrumble just says, some kind of password or control phrase. We could be in trouble here. And I'm like, she's whispering it from like eight feet yeah, away. How you know? You don't know anything. But he does this. So now we know, as the reader know, oh, crap. Savan has a secret activation code. Right. That will make Guri work for her. And so she tells Guri, get rid of them. And then Guri springs in action to kill Thrumble and the droid. Uh. And Han, Luke, and Leia are going to spring into action and save Thrumble. And Luke goes, no, wait. And then Guri double crosses Savan right. because that passcode was erased as part of the programming. Why would it be erased as part of the programming? Because that's how good that droid is and what? how good Thrumble <laughs> is. And it so, used context clues from the other memories to infer that everything about there's Shizor. another memory that she might want it to delete. Yes. And so Guri knocks out Savan and then says, 
the number you called is no longer in service. <laughs> and I'm like, number? Which is service. Do they have phones in the... <laughs> That's the line. I'm like, Obviously, as editorial, I've been like... As a tra translation from basic yes, to right. English... Like that's yeah, the colloquial that she would have used. Right. She would have said, like, the the, the, the space ID that you... Communicated or, do, or, or yeah. programmed. Yeah. The code you attempted to transmit is no, no longer, longer being right. received. Yeah. Thrumble and Luke talk, and Luke's just like, nice. And he introduces himself to Guri because he knows that Guri doesn't know who he is. And she goes, I know that you spared my life, and I know that if you're the good guy and you spared me that I must have been the bad guy, so I submit myself for oh. arrest. And he's like, okay, no. <laughs> so they drop her off at a CD bar, and Han's like, is it really a good idea to let this amnesiac assassin droid just roam the galaxy? Good and Luke question. says, I know that she's not the same as she was. I can feel it. And I'm like, no, you can't, because that's not how the force works. <laughs> and so- He's like, but how do you feel about dyeing your hair red? <laughs> mm. <laughs> then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. <laughs> so, then, Guri's wandering the bar, and she goes, now him I recognize, and it's Dash Rendar. Oh, man. And she, and like he, as though Luke knew he was in this bar, and that's why he dropped her off. Right? And so she goes, like, do I know you? There, you might want to... No, he just, he just leaves her there and waves. <laughs> like, ah, oh, bye! And so Dash, well, like, None of these, none of them notice Dash they don't care. in the corner. This is a Lando um, quote in the Wikipedia article. After, About Guri? Yeah, after meeting her. It says, man, she's a smooth piece of work. You could stack ice cubes on her head and they wouldn't melt. Unarmed, unless she was hiding a weapon somewhere, I couldn't spot it. Very attractive, too, but there's something spooky about her. Ooh. Oh. Like, something spooky about her. Something the spookiness spooky. is she's not alive. You could yeah. stack ice cubes on her head and they wouldn't melt. Yes, because she doesn't give off body heat. Because she's not <laughs> no, because she's a cool customer. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually both. It's actually both. It actually, yeah. It works actually, on a they, lot of levels. they would melt because she does produce a huge amount of heat. Actually, oh, no. more than a person. Yeah, she doesn't have an exhaust port. She's like a server farm. Unless she's farting all the time. <laughs> yeah. Just There's also fans uh... running constantly. Yeah. It's... <laughs> it's really loud and warm. <laughs> actually, should they all be? Well, I assume they have like amazing cooling technology. You sit there the with three PO. <laughs> <laughs> So does Savan never come back? No. Shadows of the Empire Evolution. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time with an all new episode of Back Issues. Star Wars is back, baby, on the couch. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I, well, listen, the, the best part about this is we'll never be able to do it again. So yeah. the next one, maybe we'll do the ghost prison. Is there any oh, way boy. you can get the droid that removes your memories to come in here? Because I have <laughs> really use that droid right about now. Only if you're a beautiful assassin droid. This book has convinced me that the lesson of you shouldn't delete memories or want to delete memories is wrong. Yes. Actually, you should, and we should use and it. And there's to a guy for yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. After you read him. this book, you're like, yeah. yes. Because it happens good. to her, and it's totally uh, cool. Yeah. And, and I want that right and now. That would be I finished good for reading us. this, and I, yeah. and I would yeah. like to. I don't want to remember yeah. this book anymore, but then we'll have to do the episode all over again. We can no, see reactions yeah. all over. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time with the whole new episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. So keep reading. What's the evolution in this? What right. does that mean? Well, what evolves? Guri's? I guess she but it's evolves. It's like a de-evolution because yeah. she actually loses herself. Or parts of herself. Parts of herself. The worst parts of herself. Right. That's, yeah, that's but, not an evolution. But uh, are, if you're losing the memories of the bad thing you did, yes. and you like realizing that you did bad things and becoming a good person is like a huge part of your life, yeah. then isn't removing the bad memories removing a gigantic piece of who you are? Yes. 